Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to give you a tour of Fate's Pen. Now this is a food area, very popular back in the day, before the highway was built. So as you can see, a lot of stalls were set up, but you notice not that many people using it. Ever since the highway opened, and I guess the traffic went on the highway, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it's not as busy as it used to be. So guys, what do you think happened to Fate's Pen? This used to be the spot when traveling from Kingston to Hotchereus to stop and eat. And some of the stalls actually look empty. I'm sure a lot of people can remember visiting this area. So guys, let us know what you think happened to Fate's Pen, why it is so empty now, and also what can be done to, to bring some more activity back to this area. Now, I think it is the highway, the opening of the highway diverted the traffic away from this road onto the highway i mean let's be realistic you can get from kingston to otreos in 40 minutes on the highway it's a game changer so i i am a maybe that played a part in it so guys let us know what you think about fate spin and what can be done to To bring some more activity to it. Now, a similar thing has happened in Poros and Clarendon Park on the other side of the island. They recently opened the Maypen to Mandeville Lake of Highway 2000, which is also a toll road. The, the road that the alternate route to where we are is also a toll road, also Highway 2000. That one is Highway 2000 North South Leg that bypasses Fates Pen. And then you have Highway 2000 East West Leg that bypasses Clarendon Park and Porus. Now, we did videos on Clarendon Park and Porus since the highway opened and they were literally ghost towns. Nothing compared to how it was before. But the people in those areas, Porus and Grandspen, they. The highway is actually free to use now. They're not charging toll because NROC and Trans Jamaica Highway are in negotiations. Not as to the amount of toll, but the, the toll rate is known. It's other issues. So they've made the highway free until January or until the end of this year. So those two areas have been dealt a severe blow but they are holding on hoping that once they start to charge toll people will return to using the alternate route but this area now Fatesman has been opened I mean the highway has been open for years now maybe probably 10 years 15 years a good while so and the toll is expensive to use that road it's the most expensive toll road in Jamaica but you do save a lot of time and it's a much easier drive much especially at night you notice these road this road that we're on doesn't even have the white line in it much less street lights that's actually the highway on the right that's actually where you see that truck that's the highway and there's no exit to fate spend for the highway now if you are on the highway and you want to get to fate spend you would have to exit at Linstead or exit at Monique so it definitely has affected the area so guys let me know what you think about Fates Pen and what you think happened why there is no activity and what can be done if anything to to bring more activity to it 
And another area that's affected by the highway is Grants Bend on the Southern Coastal Highway. That's the one from Harborview to Yalos. The main road went through Grants Bend, but when they built the highway, the highway bypasses Grants Bend, but they built an exit for Grants Bend. I think it was what, 40 million they spent on the exit because I think they realized they didn't want another occurrence of what happened here. But that's not a toll road, so it's, e not, it's easier to build an exit or an entrance. But Grants, the highway is still under construction, but Grants Pen is definitely not the same area it used to be. But we'll keep you guys updated. We have videos up of all these areas we're talking about, so you can check it out. Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. We are actually heading towards Monique and we're actually going to get on the highway in Monique. We just drove this way to make the videos. But Alright guys, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of the tour we're driving into Monique. Alright guys, have a good day. Press the button and take safe journey.